Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some tips on how to start a business. So please stay tuned and don't forget to please subscribe onto my channel for more videos. So the first thing is to find your niche. So I'm sure you've heard this before, but it's really important. It has to also do with purpose. Find out what you're good at, what people have said you are good at. Also just finding um, something unique to either sell or, you know, um, give service to um, clients. So you can do this by obviously doing research as well praying about it or meditating upon it i think this really helped me a lot so number two do your research i mean even if say you're good at makeup selling clothes or i'd say you're good at selling food or giving a service either it's a either a massage maybe you want to open up a spa or etc you still need to do your research and find out what people in the same um, industry as you are doing at the moment i think this would help you a lot then to just start and not do any research by research i mean googling i mean conversations and mingling with people and as well as youtube there are a lot of youtube videos out there that you can watch as well as having a mentor also helps you can ask them questions i mean most of them are experienced speak to someone who's experienced someone in the same industry as you this can help you very much so the third thing you can do is after doing your research, you need to draw up a plan. I mean, if you don't draw up a plan, things will be all over the place. Draw up a plan. How are you going to start? Um, what are you going to do? How are you going to um, source products? Um, contacting your suppliers, etc. Just plan plan this really helps very much this will help you a lot just plan on how you're gonna go about starting the business and who you're gonna call first how are you gonna go about things i, I think this really helps people usually say draw up a business plan it doesn't have to be a business plan and um, that you're going to submit but do it for yourself i think you'll do things properly if you have a plan in hand that you'll follow throughout your business journey and the next point is have a startup capital. I cannot stress this enough. You need to have a capital, save up money, a little that you can. And as you grow, I mean, you'll use up the profit to grow your business. So have a startup capital. I don't know where you'll get it. It doesn't matter where you get it, but have that capital to start your business. The next point, have a website designed for you. I think having a website is really important, especially in these days. People are mostly on their laptops, on their phones, online most of the time. I guess data is cheap nowadays, right? Not really, but but I think people are really um, online and using their phones a lot than visiting stores. Especially now during lockdown, lockdown people don't want to go out and expose themselves to um, COVID, you know? So you want to stay home and shop online and have your products delivered to you so it's really important i think it's also very good for your company to have a website and um, it makes us it makes you look legit and it also saves um time for you as a business owner a ceo you know and also another point is market yourself guys today we have social media i think use all the social media platforms to market yourself just make use of them, make use of Facebook to market yourself, whether you have a, a special page, I think there's a Facebook page that you can use to market yourself or your personal page. If you have too many friends, just use the platform to market yourself. There's also Instagram as well, um, a platform where you can market yourself. I think it's one of the biggest. So you can have videos, you can have your reels and um, posts and stories as well as, yeah, IGTV's videos and more just to advertise to your audience, your audience. I think just take the opportunity and use these platforms. There's also WhatsApp. I think WhatsApp has a business um, 
um, WhatsApp business profile that you can create. Also try and look into that. It has to do with research. If you research, you can find these things out. There's also Twitter. I think the audience is quite large. The exposure is quite big also on Twitter as well as TikTok, etc. So there are many platforms that you can use to advertise your company. And the last point that I have is be creative. So once you start your business and it's going smoothly, successful, wherever you are, at some point in your business, you need to try and be different, be unique and be creative. Make us want more. If you're selling a product, go and research and find something better. Find some new trends. Just be creative in your business, whether it's marketing or or the way that you have been selling or improving your website there's a lot of ways to be creative in the business so please try and do that to keep customers hooked to keep to keep people buying and talking about your business so yeah that's all from me for today please stay tuned for more videos please subscribe and comment thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time